Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, greetings and salutations we give out to ladies and gentlemen, esteemed judges and fellow participants. I'm Muhammad Zayan Fairuz. I'm Teddy Bimaputra and we're here to present the methodization and result of our research project in synthesizing Kanoja. Farming has been holding an important role as a source of energy for mankind. Coming from the current weather and climate phenomena, it is apparent that the conventional agricultural industry is having more frequent harvesting losses. To solve this problem, the use of hydroponic system and genetically modified crops are reliable despite endangering feasibility and safety concern. By diving into the field of material synthesis, many solutions are to be explored. One of which would be to develop a combined planting medium and growth enhancer. This project would be diving into the use and synthesis of hydrogels from PTA thanks to its water retaining capabilities and its environmental friendly character as a planting medium, as well as to test the performance of CDOT as a growth enhancer for plants. For starters, hydrogels are polymer gels that can retain high water content. Hydrogels can retain water, minerals, and nutrients for up to a 350% increase of duration. There are many benefits of hydrogels used both as a mixed substrate and as a full substrate. Hydrogels can be synthesized by cross-linking a polymer solution through chemical or physical processes. Canogel is synthesized out of PVA, which will be safe for environmental use. Moving over the seed to seedots, they are carbon nanoparticle size around 10 nanometers and are produced by processing carbon source, thus producing a nanoparticle small spherical structure Seeded lights up under UV light, shifting its wavelength into visible light, a phenomenon called photoluminescence. Seeded also absorb the majority of UV lights shown on the nanoparticle. This is a characteristic due to the presence of electrons in the lowest unoccupied and highest occupied molecular orbitals. Other than its physical properties, many papers report an improvement of the plant's growth. Sea dots also easily dissolve in water. They are very versatile to apply. For this project, we are trying to figure out if we can synthesize hydrogels incorporated with sea dots in a way that would retain each of their properties. This research project will hopefully produce a plant medium that will be able to retain water and boost plant growth while keeping the fertilizer usage to a minimum. With this project, we hope we could uphold this efficiency of farming in harsh weather conditions and boost the production of raw material used in this project. And with that, we present the result of our research project titled Canogel. Synthesizing and observing the physical effects of hydrogels integrated with sea dots as a plant substrate to support agricultural activities in an ever-increasing fluctuation of weather patterns. This research project was carried out in the physics and chemistry laboratories of Sayaran Chamea Islamic Boarding School. We start by synthesizing hydrogels, made by dissolving 6 grams of PVA powder into 100 milliliters of water at 90 degrees Celsius. We then proceed to continuously mix for 2 hours until a quarter of the original volume is left, yielding 25 ml of PVA fit for 4 ice cube molds. The hydrogel will achieve its gel-like character through a physical cross-linking method, of which is called freeze thawing. The freeze thawing process is done by freezing our sample at 0 Celsius and thawing was done at room temperature of 21 Celsius. The freezing periods are done at a varied duration of 6 hours, 12 hours, and 20 hours. Then for 12, 6, and 3 cycle each, the thawing was done up for 4 hours throughout all the cycles. This process results in 3 samples of hydrogel with varying characteristics. As for the seed dots incorporated, they are synthesized by creating a mango stain skin extract with a net to water weight ratio of 1 to 5. One ml of this extract is reacted to varied amount of urea from 1 to 6 grams in a hydrothermal process, done by roasting in an oven at 250 Celsius for 30 minutes. The resulting seed solution with the most yield is then incorporated into the PVA hydrogel mixture. To test canogel's capabilities, we plan to grow 20 cancun seeds and observe their growth for 7 days through their mass and height measurement. We will also test its characteristic by measuring its evaporation and water absorption capabilities, done by div dividing the change of water mass to the elapsed 
time with positive result indicating the intake of water and negative result, result indicating the outtake of water. And with the result, we determined that the synthesized hydrogel did not live up to its intended characteristics. The hydrogel came out soluble when submerged underwater for an extended period of time, thus eliminating the chances for a hydroponic substrate test. But it is still applicable for dry planting like soil or as a germinating medium. So testing out its water intake and outtake, after submerging underwater for 30 minutes, the hydrogel gained 3 grams of water weight, shown on the above before and after. As to its evaporation, the hydrogel lost 0.3 grams of water every half an hour at heating at 40 degrees Celsius. The biocompatibility test showed positive results, with 2 out of 3 seeds successfully sprouted. Seeds were successfully synthesized, with the 2 gram variant showing the most prominent result. To prove whether seeds were synthesized, the product solution is shown under UV light. And by comparing the product sample and the precursor solution, it is clear that the C dot solution is glowing a neon orange hue. We also test its different in UV spectrum structure shown in this diagram. We can see that the graph show considerable difference below the 1750 cm mark. Additionally, we test the absorbance of each sample ranging from 1 gram to 6 gram of urea used to synthesize the C dot. The synthesized sea dots also showed a growth boosting effect shown on this record of the mean height and mass measurements of three kampung sprouts ever grown for seven days. As shown, there is a recorded difference between plant growth with and without sea dots, and by inputting the table into a line graph, we get the following figure. Kano gel was successfully synthesized by mixing the sea dots mixture with the pre crossing PVA solution. Despite the imperfect hydrogel use, it still performed well to germinate seeds. As test with three kangkung seeds each inside varying amounts of sea dots from six to 10 grams placed in the hydrogels. Shown, the 6 gram amount proved to be more effective in boosting seed germinations. Seedlots were also easy to absorb into the hydrogels, with the included sample showing no detectable liquids on the surface. In conclusion, this project successfully proved that seedlots can be synthesized through the hydrothermal heating of mangosteen peels. With this usage alone, it can boost plant life growth by 13%, although the hydrogel did not come out with the characteristics that we hope for. Its capabilities can still be improved through further research. The two materials can be easily incorporated to ensure a functioning plant medium that can boost plant growth. A planting medium that is currently not suitable for substantial water content. And with that, we say our goodbye to ladies and gentlemen, estimate judge and fellow participants. We hope that what we discovered in this research could be further developed into its intended function. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.